hard to stand up. It's nice. Yeah. My legs get really stiff. <clears throat> huh? Stream's going? Yeah. Oh, wow. Which stream are we on? You, oh, both of them? YouTube and, and you stream? Live stream? Live stream. Streams live? Stream is live. Woohoo! What's up, guys? Hello, hello. Can you hear us? The uh, drop cam, the drop cam audio, we're having trouble with our login to drop cam trying to get the audio turned on, but uh, as long as you can hear us, I guess, on, on the uh, live stream, then we should be good. Paul, can you hear us on Ustream? You got audio? What's up, Paul? What's up, Paul? How do you think? Uh, uh, how do you think you pronounce? Is it Derek? You think D R R C K? Probably. I would, Derek. I would go Derek. Derek. Dirk. 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 Or Derek. I would say Derek. That's the safest bet. Yes, you need your sunglasses, huh? Oh, drop cam audio is on too. Mm. You got the login. Got it all. Ken, you got. Um, okay. Apparently, I'm logged in. Oh, there we go. Yay! I can control the drop cams again. You are the man. Hello, Brooking. Space bats. Brian got a nice surprise in the mail today. Was that by any chance your patron package? We sent a huge batch of those out the other day. I had to take them all to the, uh, to the uh, post office. But boxes and boxes of those things. Awesome. Glad they went out. Yeah. What's up, Tommy G? He said, he said yes, Tommy it was. G is in Sweet. guns. Hello from Israel. Hello. How are you? That is, it is late over there where you are. Geekbeat is owned by Google now. I wish. <laughs> Who let me back in the country? That's a good question. Yeah, somebody at customs or immigration I have, wasn't doing their job. I snuck in. I have my ways. I'm sneaky like mm -hmm. that. Were you in disguise? Something like that. Kind of like the Mission Impossible. Came mask. through back channels, you know. Makes you look like Tom Cruise. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. Hey, We're gonna have Allison fun today. And Cam I think. from Forty Five Drives. Hello, hello. Hey, what's happening? Thanks for what's joining. What's up, guys? 45 Drives have some, am I allowed to talk about the thing that we emailed about earlier? Can I talk about that? I think, I, I think I'm allowed to talk about it. But just to make sure I am. The thing? Yeah. At the place? Yeah. Ben, did you, get the, uh, did you get the email with those attachments that we sent you about 45 Drives? About the stuff? They're having an awesome day. Well, that's good. They are having it's an awesome day. It's kind of rainy and cold here. Not so awesome. Well, they're in Canada. It's even probably rainier and oh, colder yeah, there. Yeah, you're right about that. They're like way up in Canada. <laughs> ben says I wrote oh, a post on yeah. it. So. Okay. Yeah, he wrote a post. Good, good. How many rants do I have stored up for today? Well, oh, how many weeks boy. has it been since I've been here? Quite a few. That's why I'm standing back. The thing is, we don't have, we, we don't have any... They're just like 40 p. Oh, next, next thing. Yeah. <laughs> why? Like, I'm surprised they even bothered to put a camera in it at that point. Yeah. I know. I mean, they took out the LED Apple logo and all that, too. What chocolate goodies do we have today? Nobody brought me any chocolate goodies today, damn it. Although, yesterday... This is my fault. I take the blame. It has uh, nerds. Oh. And it has... Uh, Gobstoppers. Gobstoppers. Yeah. Butterfingers. And also Nestle Crunch chocolate bars. You gotta add some variety. <laughs> That's uh, right. <laughs> See, this is my fault. If I hadn't canceled on going to the gym, you probably yeah. would not have gone and bought the big That's true. bag of if sugar. We, if you hadn't canceled on the gym, then I would have... Uh, you would have worked out instead of... That's right. I'd have worked out, and then I'd have been like... I looked at that candy bag, and be like, no, I just burned those calories off. <coughs> I'm not going to put those back on. All right. Robbie! Hey. How are you? What's up, Rob? Oh, wow. He's ready to start. Okay. Do you know your lines? Line. I don't think we have those people. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess I should also... Um, 
I'll keep I'll keep the old Twitter the, the Twitter client open. Okay. So if anybody wants to tweet questions at, or comments at us, good idea. You may do that. I I will uh, not have the Twitter client open. I guess I could actually. Uh, I do. The John P. Oh, uh, when I was out of the country? <laughs> uh, was this something about, somebody was talking, there was something where s somebody got the color of something wrong, I don't know. Oh, the dress? Yeah. Oh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> if we're going to rage on something, it's going to be that. I don't even remember what that was. Dress. I was in Barcelona, and uh. somebody said something about it. But we were in the middle of prep for the uh, for the Samsung event, so I, I didn't really even hear about what that was. Yeah. It was I, the, bizarre. Somebody made a joke. It was, we were at the thing, and somebody made a joke, and they they said something was not the color that it was. Yeah. And I was like, okay. I totally went by me. And they're like, didn't you hear about this other thing that was related to that where somebody said S And I was like, no. Hmm. No, I did not. It was very short story. There was a picture of a dress. Yep. It was a very washed out picture. Yep. But for some reason, some people saw it as a white and gold dress. Other people would look at it and see a blue and black dress. Okay. And it just went nuts online because everybody was seeing it a little bit differently. I, I, I definitively, without question, saw black and blue. But a lot of people saw gold and white, and it was like almost starting fights online. I mean, people were getting, it is gold and white, you know, mad at each other. And I would look at it. You but need what, a new what, monitor. Here's what was very strange. There was one occasion. Should I save this for later? I don't know. We're just going to roll into it. Did we talk about it on any other shows? It's really old news. It is old news. Now. Yeah, but I was out of town, so I don't know anything <laughs> about it. I mean, we could. I don't care. Okay, I start, start talking about the, uh, the nice gold color there behind the, on the wall. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll be, but what was weird is one time I did, I looked at it blue, black and blue and I scrolled down, was reading an article, came back up and saw the picture and it looked white and gold to me. Uh, Just that one time. It was very funny. weird. So. It white balance like, uh, your major minor dominance of what you see yeah. in your color. There's a good thing on D-News about it. Mm. Yeah, I did find a couple articles that explained how it was happening. Or well, I hope everybody happening. enjoys my yellow shirt today, so. <laughs> we both have skulls on our shirt today, though. That's kind of cool. We're going to talk about that. Are we? Oh, yeah, we oh, are. Oh, my. We are going to talk about that. All right. I'm ready. Let's do it. Hey, Dave. When do you switch to four? What? When are you going to switch to four? Oh, I guess, actually, I guess yeah, you start out today. No, you do. It says Apple's $10,000. I know, but John. that means you got to start with, hey, I'm Scott, and I say oh, yeah. I'm John There's D. Apple and thing. on today's episode of Geek Beat. Yep. Oh. And we start in the middle camera, right, Dave? Yeah. <laughs> I had a hard time with that last week, or week before. Yeah, we start on the middle one, and then I'll say, and I'm John P, and on today's episode of Geek Beat, dan, 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 bam, pew! How'd you like the sound effects? <sighs> I'd like to Magical. apologize to all the people who are here in the live audience today who have to watch this thing oh, in person. They're going to have fun with us It's today. bad enough when you have to watch it through a, through a camera. It's even worse when you have to watch it in person. But these people are gluttons for punishment, so what can we do? How do you think I feel? i got to push it out. I know. Rob. He's got a, like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> you got to birth it every okay. single week I'll like it was a talk child. talk about something else now. Like Rob, it's not vodka. It's just water. It's <laughs> HBO for cord cutters. Things we'd rather be doing. A special guest from the CEA. And how to be a pirate. It all starts now. <laughs> Hey folks! Hello, hello! Welcome back to another episode of Geek Beat Live. That is Scott Ellis. And that's John P. That is he true. is back. They let him back in the country. Can you believe it? No. I've been gone for weeks. I gave them ins explicit instructions <laughs> not to let you back into the country. But I think you underestimate my sneakiness. Apparently. Yes, and it is also Friday the 13th. 
So basically anything that could go wrong will go wrong. And it has in a couple of ways. I think. It has been going wrong. Been I've a had a day. bad day. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Why was your day bad? Well, it started out with our toilet and our sinks and all this stuff getting all stopped up at our house today. Why? I don't know. I what got happened? What did you do? I didn't do anything. That's the thing. You you want to have like a big hey, story, you can be white, proud. White flush. I know. You got <laughs> routine flushing should do it. There was you not a pr there was no problem with the toilet, but then this morning I went and got in my shower and uh, turned on the shower and I started noticed that the water started like building up around my feet, but we we don't have like a tub shower. It's just a standalone shower. So, uh, all of a sudden you know, by the end of my shower, my feet were like submerged in water and it was not draining. I was like, what is going on? And we've also got a tub. So I got out of the shower and I was like, okay, I got to deal with this shower situation. And I look and water was coming up in the tub. Like the pipes are all backed up. So do you know what caused it? Probably at Holly Pose's long hair going down. Uh, the I don't know. Yeah, that can do it. I don't know. It wasn't mine. Okay, but now we got to call a plumber or something. I don't know. What was your? What happened to you? Well, I took my car in for an oil change. That was a mistake. Because I got it back many thousands of dollars later. <laughs> That's what you get when you drive a fancy sports car. Oh, it's not that fancy, but it's you pretty know, fancy. It, it needed some work and. Yeah, it kind of ran itself up there a little bit. Now, to be fair, uh -huh. I didn't have to pay the whole bill. Oh, you didn't? Because I had an extended warranty, which covered a decent chunk of it. It was oh. still a lot of money out of pocket, but fortunately not the whole five grand. So It was five grand? It was the total bill. That's wow. not how much I ended up having to pay. Yeah. I only paid a couple. But. Uh, well, uh, Chuck yeah. left. It went down. Those two wheels were almost five grand. Can you believe that? Just for the two wheels. Two wheels were almost $5,000. Did you miss your flight? What happened? No, we took, a different, we took another car. Oh. But they left it up on blocks. They got the two back ones and the front ones. They only got like, they almost got them, but something must have interrupted them. And uh, so we called and a tow truck came out and brought some wheels and towed it to, a, to the shop. And it, was, it took them almost three weeks to get these wheels. Yeah, you win the bad day award. And you're on the way, you're trying to catch a flight and you come out and you find no wheels on your vehicle. That's not That's good. not a good way to do it, so. Now, this was on the way to uh, Barcelona. To Barcelona That's for. Right. We went out there. Uh, actually, Callie, Callie had to go out of town somewhere else. And so Amber Mack went with me to Barcelona and we hosted the live talk show after the Samsung Galaxy Unpacked event <laughs> where they launched the new S6. This was at Mobile World Congress. Though, it right? was indeed. Very good. That's yeah. a big conference. Yeah, it was a big conference. We got, I think we got, we'll talk a little bit about the old S6 and All some right. of the things that went on there later on in the show. So that'll be fun. And uh, are you going to stand up the whole time? I am going to stand up the whole time. Because you're too sore. Because I can't sit down. Because it was leg day two it days was, ago. Yeah. So John and I started working out again. You've been ignoring the legs, I haven't you? I've been totally ignoring legs, and we did leg workout two days ago, and I still can barely walk. Yeah, yeah. That's bad, but so it goes. All right, well, I tell you what. We're going to come back from commercial break here in just a second. We're going to talk about all of this stuff and more. So don't go anywhere. Actually, you can go get some popcorn or some chips, maybe have a Coke. A glass of water, a little yeah, bit Yeah, Coke needs to pay me. Oh boy. We do need to figure out how to get Coke to sponsor this show. That would be good. Ah, <sighs> yes. Bet we, I bet we could get Deep Eddie to sponsor the show. We, that's right, we probably could if we sat here and got liquored up all over it. <laughs> would that be a problem? No, no, not the at show all. show might actually be funny. It would be better, it would be better. <laughs> uh, Shocker is pointing out I should have had wheel locks. Yes. Well, yeah. Yes, I should have. Can you believe that thing came from the factory with no wheel locks? Wheel locks cost 20 bucks, okay? For a set of freaking wheel locks on a car that cost, I don't want to tell you how much, it was ridiculous. The and they way, didn't have the stupid wheel locks on it. Look, on the way in yesterday, I was really hoping you were going to be here yesterday because I'm driving north on 360, boom, armor wheel locks, don't let this happen to you. And it's a car up on blocks, all four are gone. And I was like, armor wheel locks, I got to tell John. That is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never seen that billboard. I had no idea. I just, I never looked. I didn't even look because I've only had the vehicle for like a couple months, right? Maybe two months, yeah. right? So I didn't even look at the wheels. Uh, 
I mean, I think I had the vehicle for less than six weeks when this happened. And if you're something. anything like me, when you're on the way to the airport, you need to get going. You're usually running on time, if not a little late. Yeah. There's no time to waste. So no. Walking out and seeing that would be very disconcerting. I had no time to deal with it. Unfortunately, we had to, I had to leave it for somebody else to deal with. So, Hey, uh, Shocker wants to know, where's my Mexican Coke? I don't know. I don't know where it is. I'm drinking this crappy stuff with the high fructose corn syrup in it because, eh, better than nothing, I guess. I do have the Twitters going, so if you guys tweet at me, we can, uh, we can definitely answer Q&A and stuff like that through Twitters today, the Tweetosphere. And other than that, I guess we should get this thing going. Let's keep going. Davey boy, yes, sir. are you ready? Sure Let's do it. So you can get the get us started with this first I'm segment. Gonna try. All right, everybody, welcome back to Geek Beat Live. Good Indeed. to have you here. We've got a whole new format for the show since I was here last. We do. We're doing different things. It's kind of fun. Well, you got to tell to le you? lead us into it. How does this work now? Well, first thing we're going to do is talk about some stories, and we're going to answer some questions. Okay. And then at the end, we're just going to talk about whatever we want. Nice. Now, the first story is... Is Callie going to let us get away with that? Well, she's not here, so... <laughs> I guess she's going to let us get away with it, then. <laughs> not what she can do about it, at least not until she gets home. Uh-huh. So let's talk about Apple. Okay. They had a big announcement this week. They've got the Apple Watch coming out. What do you think of the Apple Watch? I got to admit, when, I, when, when we first heard the announcement about the Apple Watch... I thought it sounded really great, like so great that I was thinking to myself, wow, I might even give up my Samsung phone and move to an Ooh. Apple phone just to get that watch. Um, but lately, that enthusiasm has waned because of some of the other things I've been hearing. Now, interesting. Do you? Okay, I want to hear why. Yeah. But I also wonder, do you think they made an ex a, a mistake to some extent by announcing it back when they did and giving us all time to think about it and... Has that why maybe some of the excitement is one? Because it has for me a little bit too. Yeah, I think I think that there there was a big gap in the time, and I don't know why they made that announcement so far in advance of the release. Usually, I, I'm guessing they just didn't have anything else good to talk about, <laughs> so they just had to yeah, say something. But be. usually with Apple, they would do something like announce a product and say you'll be able to get it within a week or two or something. You know, start the pre-orders and all that other stuff, and and people be really excited and jump on it, but. I, I don't think I would have acted any quicker back then anyway because I have become so conditioned to smartwatches being bad that I would not buy one without trying it out first, playing mm -hmm. with it, hearing reviews and things like that. And unfortunately, some of the things that they've talked about with the Apple Watch are things that I'm not really all that thrilled about. Okay, for like, example. Like battery. So it turns... So I, I've been wearing this little... Um, Samsung uh, Gear Fit for, I mean, God, I'm probably like more than a year now that I've been, been wearing a long it, time. importantly. I only have to charge it like once every three or four days. Yeah. Now, if I charge it more often, great, but I can go for several days without even thinking about charging it. And the Apple Watch, as I understand it, they're saying it's good for, a, the charge is good for about a day. Yeah. That is just not long enough for something that then is going to take, what, an hour or two to charge? Yeah, I agree. I think with, if, especially if you're going to have something like that that you're probably going to use a lot, that means you're going to get less than a day out of it. You yeah. Know, for me, one of the big reasons would be to wear it when I'm working out. Yeah. So I don't have to have my phone in front of me all the time, but I can get the metrics and the things off the app. But, you know, that's going to, that sucks up a lot of juice. Yeah, so they, I think they last. quoted that their, their standard about a day was for, you know, X number of messages and this long of listening to music and this yeah. long of exercising. It was like 30 minutes of exercising, which you and I spend twice as long as that at the gym when we go. And, every day. And then on top of that, we're kind of power users, so we're going to have lots more texts and messages yeah. and everything else coming in. So that really worries me because the prices, 350 bucks for the sport version, um, 399 for a slightly bigger version. Then if you want to step it up a bit, 550 to $600. This is I mean, not a cheap accessory. And then, of course... The you know, for those of you who might look at the Apple Watch and think, well, I like the fact that you're going to be able to get thousands of applications eventually and do all this stuff, but I don't want to use an Apple phone because I like my Android phone, eh, too bad. You just 
doesn't work like that. You, right. If you're an Apple person, you get the Apple Watch. If you're an Android person, you get one of any of the Android watches, and the two do not mix. Well, we'll see how this goes. I think they're a little bit on the pricey side, and I'm worried about the battery life, too. But a lot of people out there may like them. If you guys try one, let us know what you think. I want to hear about it. What do you think about Do you watch HBO at all? You know, I was a big fan of HBO when I was a kid, and we first got cable, and HBO was a big deal to have. Yeah. Um, I cut cable years ago. Yeah, so you don't really care. I don't really care. However, I remember when Netflix started their original series of things, yeah. that that was going to make a dent in HBO's business. Like, that was what HBO should have been doing, is like original content. Well, they've always done good original content. Yeah. HBO does some fantastic stuff, but they should have been putting it out online. And I think this is a response to that. Yeah, so HBO is going to let you buy the HBO service without going through your cable or dish provider or whatever. So um, you'll be able to buy HBO just like you would Netflix. But now it's going to be hard for them to compete with Netflix because Netflix has a huge library of stuff plus their own original yeah. content. And HBO, I don't know. I, I mean, they kind of get movies and things, right? But I don't know that they're not going to, they're going to have a hard time competing and they're going to charge $15 a month. I mean, that's more than even Netflix. It is. However, the, the quality of a lot of HBO's content, I think, is sufficient that I'll bet there are some people out there that are going to pay for it. Oh, yeah? I, I would consider it. They've, they've done some really good stuff. And, I'm, you know, my wife and I are big fans of House of Cards. Which is, of course, a Netflix show. Yeah. But if there was something, you know, even just comparable to that that was on H, I would probably pay just to have it so that we can watch that and a few other things. That's true. So, that's true. Okay. There's one other little thing we should talk about, uh, and then we'll have to take a quick break. But it's very, very small. Yeah. What? Literally, <laughs> literally, very small, right? The new MacBook uh, Air, right? Yeah. What do you think about it? Not interested. Really? Yeah. Not interested. Flat not out. Even. Not in well, first of all. Oh, it's it, just it is called, the new MacBook. It's, yeah, it's just called the MacBook. Sorry. Um, yeah. I, I love a slim, lightweight form factor. I went down to the 13-inch Pro so that for travel it's as light as possible, but I've still got all the power that I need. Yeah. Um, however, I'm really bothered by this whole just one port thing because I usually have so much stuff plugged into my laptop. Yeah. That that's going to be problematic for me. Very so quickly. the new the new MacBook it's super super thin. It only weighs two pounds. It's got a 12-inch screen, right? Yep. And it only has a single port. It is a USB Type C port. This right. is the new type of USB. It's coming to everyone, and it's going to be super fast. And the best thing about it is, uh, you know how you try and plug in a USB port, a USB plug, and it's n it's never the right way. You have to turn it over to plug it in to get it to go in. <laughs> that is gone, thank God, with USB yeah. Type C. You just plug it in that's and a nice improvement you're good but you would you would only have one port so what you'd have to do is you'd have to plug in like a little hub and then have lots of devices hanging off that hub and they do make a dongle that goes along with it the dongle's like 80 bucks doesn't that yeah, include well, the yeah, power 80 port? bucks the, po the power port is is, is the coming USB through the USB, USB type C yeah. as well huh so that's your power then you have to yeah. like jack stuff into your yeah. brick maybe yeah. we don't know I, don't I, know. I guess which is sitting on the floor yeah, I'm yep. not sure how that's going to work. I, I just $1,300, that, that's how it's going to work. Yeah. They're going to charge $1,300 for the it. The screen's a little small for me, too. Yeah. You know, I'm down to a 13. That's, I can't get any smaller for what I do. I mean, you could still get a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro that yeah. are 13 inches, and they cost the same amount of money. They're going to have a little more power. They're just not quite as thin. And I don't know. We'll have to see if anybody's going to buy it. I'm not going to buy one. I, I'm not either. I think if I was going to go that far, I would just I would go get a Chromebook or something. That, I agree completely yeah. because I think that you could spend 350 bucks on a touchscreen Chromebook if all you need is basic stuff, yep. and you'd be su super happy. So, All right, guys. Hang on, we're going to be right back after this next commercial break, and uh, we've got, uh, we're going to field some comments. And I just don't think it's going to be the right machine for a lot of people. Yeah, I just don't. I'd be surprised. See, it's, it's, to me, with all the, with the limitations on the ports and the physical screen size and everything else. Yeah, I've already got that right here. It's, 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 yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's, it seems like if that's all you're going to need to do, why not get you a really nice Chromebook, like a touchscreen Chromebook? And you can do your email, your web surfing, your, you know, whatever. Write your blog posts. Yeah, all that. Do, right? yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm not, sure touch screen. Is, I'm not really sure who it's meant to cater to. I don't understand where they're going with it. But. Will somebody please tell me what the hell is Apple's problem with not coming out with a touchscreen? 
Why do the computers not have touchscreens? You can't tell me that they don't see the value of touchscreens. Every damn iPad they put out since the beginning of time <laughs> is a touchscreen device. Every phone is a touchscreen device. Why can they not figure out that we want touchscreens on our freaking computers? I don't know. I do know if they put one on the new iMac, though, with that 5K screen, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. I know. Oh, that thing is beautiful. Yeah, have it you really seen is, one up front? Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, yeah. <sighs> I don't care if I can't carry it with me. It's, that's good stuff. All right. Uh, let's see. Davy boy, you want to keep it going? Yes. All right, let's, let's do it. How are we doing on time? I'm not seeing any Pablo. Well, way Pablo there. was giving us the wrap up early, oh, was but it? we ran over. I but can't see him behind Carter there, so yeah. you're going to have so to take the lead. We're, we're three over. That's we okay. Moved, we moved him down to the next section. So Who? We're going to do the Q and A's and talk about the, your episode this week. Oh no, I just I, I, we have the this one comment here. Okay, in that case, let's bring let's go ahead and bring him on and, and get him on, and then you can you can finish up the thing about the um, the, the the watch it the, or 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 we can really actually cool. should we just skip that because we can, yeah. we'll just skip that okay let's we'll go, just skip it Steve, let's go and, get on set. and we'll bring Steve up great you want to come join me over here sure. and then he can and what are we gonna do so Steve's gonna come and we're just gonna talk about some of the CEA Foundation stuff that's going on which is well you'll see let's do it. Um, Cool. You get one of your business cards out. That's a great little thing because talking about Braille and stuff. And yeah. You can get a close up of it. Well, I don't know if we want to expose all of his details. Well, he hands it out to any Tom, Dick, or Harry that he right. on the street. Right. Right. There we are. Put y'all two those beautiful. It's got to step over just a hair. Poor John. Yeah. <clears throat> there you are. How you pronounce your last name? You. Yeah, do, but I don't know if we want to. We'll, we'll try and hide your details here. Yeah, that's all right. Like your contact details. Everyone can uh, call and donate uh, to the foundation. Donate some money to the foundation. <laughs> that's a good idea, actually. We'll, I am very happy we'll tell them to do it. <laughs> Oh, you're too tall. You got to sit down. Oh, okay. Yeah. You and me both. <laughs> Plus, I want to sit down because I'm lazy. Better. <laughs> Rob was there like, Steve go. needs to sit. He is tall. <laughs> <laughs> Paul says, I guess Apple's argument would be they're still selling a lot of Macs. That's true, but that's because that doesn't mean that people are happy with their Macs. Like, I, I bought my most recent uh, MacBook Air because I felt locked into the Apple ecosystem because I've been using it. But that doesn't mean I'm happy with it. I literally have not been happy with my MacBook Air since I, since I bought it. I've not been happy with it. And the primary reason is because this thing has been sitting on my desk and the app and the and the surface uh, on this Microsoft surface is touchscreen and it's so freaking nice and we have touchscreen Chromebooks at home and it's so nice and then you got to you get stuck with this little trackpad and although Apple's trackpad was better than everybody else's it does not take the place of touching the screen it just doesn't yeah you really like that surface don't you i really do like it yeah yeah, I think we're talking about it in a little bit. That's why I brought it with me. So, okay. Right. Yep. Let me get audio from Steve real fast. All right, testing. A little more? Testing. Perfect. You sound beautiful. There you go. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. All right. Are you ladies ready? Let's do it. Let's do this. Yep. Okay, I'm going to come back to a two shot. And actually, Steve is, runs the CEA Foundation, yep. and you guys are focused on all kinds of initiatives for people with special needs of all sorts, right? 
Yeah, well, I really How do you describe the CEA <laughs> Foundation to everybody? Well, the CEA Foundation, we are affiliated with CEA, the Consumer Electronics Association, which I know you guys know from International CES and Indeed. all the, mm -hmm. the cool, fun gadgets that uh, we get to show out there. But essentially, we are a philanthropic foundation focused on how technology can change the lives of older adults and people with disabilities. Nice. So essentially, we are a fairly new organization. We launched about three years ago, uh, but we've been able to find a number of nonprofits profit organizations that are using technology to really make a difference in people's lives. So it, it's just amazing to, you know, one, play with these technologies that, uh, that we get to highlight on your show and everything, but then look at how those can help, whether you're talking about a homebound, a homebound older adult who has become kind of isolated from their community, isolated from their family. Well, it's amazing what from some fairly simple technologies can do to reconnect them and really make a difference in their lives. Um, or, you know, working with the, the blind and low vision community or the, the deaf and hard of hearing community, mobility, you know, kind of across the board, uh, there's a lot of opportunities for technology to make a difference. What are some of the more interesting technologies that you've seen recently or things that are coming out? Well, you know, th there's quite a few different technologies. I, I think